Hello everyone. Today let us know about the project Grocery Store Management System. First let us extract the files. We can see that the file is extracted. Inside the file Grocery Store Management System we can see database backup and source code. First let us see the database backup. Let us start Apache and MySQL in XAMPP control panel. I am using Chrome browser here. Type localhost slash php myadmin to import the database. So we can see that the MySQL server is on. Under databases type the database name and here the database name is project and click on create so we can see that the database is created we can create the tables here but since we already have the file let us import it let us select the file project and click on import this might take some time we can see that the database is imported and the database has got the admin login info table which includes the details of the admin customer info includes the customer details orders includes the orders made by the customers order details includes the complete detail of the orders and product includes the different products that are there in the grocery shop and stock includes the available stock of products in the grocery shop now let us copy the source code folder and paste this in XAMPP inside HDDocs this is because I have installed XAMPP in D driver wherever you have installed in that particular XAMPP folder inside the HDDocs folder paste the source code once the source code is pasted open the browser and type localhost slash source code this will open the project here we do not have the login id so let us sign up as a new so here type the name and the password and confirm password for the admin click on sign up so we can see the grocery management system where the customer registration is available for the admin the customer can be added by the admin by entering the customer's name then their email id the phone number and the address The customer doesn't have any login here the admin itself will add the different customers those who visit the grocery store click on save customer so we can view the different customers the admin has the authority to edit or delete the customer details click on manage products so in this module we can view the different products that are available in the grocery store the new products can be added by the admin by entering the product name then the price of the product and the unit that is how the price is mentioned then the category that is the product belongs to which category and the initial stock that is how much stock has been added to the store click on add product if any of the customers purchase the stock then the stock will be reduced and the stock will be updated by the customer under view order 
we can view the different orders made by the customers and details of the orders can be viewed in order placement the admin can make the orders for the customers by selecting the customer and then the products what the customer is willing to purchase and what is the quantity of the product the customer is expecting to buy so here the quantity must be added and when the quantity is added the price will be auto totaled by the system and click on check order this will confirm the price and clicking on confirm order the order will be placed so in orders we can view the order made by the customers and in view details the complete details that is which are the products that have been purchased can be viewed by the admin so this is about the grocery store management system now let us log out this is about the grocery store management system project thank you for watching the video for further queries kindly visit our web page thank you